Hello viewers, welcome to VAP student. In this video, we are going to see client-side real-time application using Angular framework. In my previous video, we have seen .NET Core API CRUD operation against MySQL database. You can see the video's link in the description and practice as per your table structure. Now, in this series, we will be going through Angular framework. This real-time project explanation is for intermediate people who know the basics of Angular, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Once this series is over, I will be giving another video on the basics of Angular. Now, the first thing we have to do is to design the tables and relations before starting on the coding part. I'm using Excel here to design the tables. You can also use Visio for designing. I have created three tables department, employees, and photos. These three tables are interlinked with foreign keys. You can refer to the details column for a better idea. This will be helpful to reduce the coding time and the confusion. Freshers and beginners can adapt these ideas to finish your project on time. So kindly go through the full video series and upgrade yourself. This is the UI design for a simple employee table. Here I'm using Angular Material Design, Department Employee Relation, and Employee Photo, which is stored in my MySQL table in Base64 format. Now, let's move on to the demo. So, this will be the output of our project. We will be developing it using Angular 9, Core API 2.2, and CRUD operation with MySQL. Before that, let's just explore the application. I have included a toggle button in the header. And going into the employees menu, we see that it shows the message loading data. And now we see all the stored employees. I've also got the sorting option here. And the search bar here so that we can filter the employee's data. You can also see the pagination available in the grid footer. So this will be the next page and last page, and this will be the previous page and first page. All right, now let's create a new employee. And we have saved successfully, says the notification. And we have Tony in our employees list. Now, let's edit Tony's data. Tony has become Tony Simon successfully. Now, let's delete Tony's profile. And successfully delete it. Well, we've covered all the basic attributes for a project and this is how a project should look like in the end. So please continue watching all the videos in this series and upgrade yourself. And I'm damn sure that you like all our methods and nuances. So please give your class. Comment, like, appreciation, share and subscribe.